Welcome back guys. So today we're going to talk about sets and what are the different way you can write the sets, set notation and uh, with the example and when it is uh, defined, when it is not defined and when it is descriptive, you know, we discuss all that. But before I start, right, I want to tell you, I want to ask you basically, what is set? I mean, is that we are we using the set? Is it useful? Some students, you know, do not understand the significance of set actually. They don't relate. Uh, especially mathematic concept to their uh, daily life uh, I you know I tell my student uh, try to connect yourself with uh, you know mathematical concept actually okay so the more you can connect yourself with real life example to what you're learning that will stay longer in your brain okay so well uh, if you stay from the beginning to the end of this video right you will see almost everything we can connect ourselves through the set okay so let's start a set is a collection of object or well, in this case object are referring to numbers word you know name anything you can come up with so this is i said object which are called elements so elements what is element element is a members of the set the symbol for a set are well there is a specific way this is a notation a specific way to pronounce it or read it actually we call it braces we call it braces again this is just a notation here okay i want to make sure that we understand that this is called notation okay so you know i want to see you know tell if the percentage i think you have done with the percentage what is percentage if you have this symbol right we call it percentage what is that this is notation for percentage so so as we have a notation here for this set we have a notation what is that notation it is open braces and closed braces once you see this automatically you refer to a set okay you refer to a set now i have a couple of example three example let's talk about three example before i start this three example look at this here this one is capital letter every set you create you should name it actually like for example all of us right we have a nice name our parents you know our loved one uh, give a name to us or put name to us right so that's a unique name or sometimes you know it's matching but as long as you follow some rules for name you find right now in set notation we have also some rules and order what is the rules in order to name a set you must use a capital letter any letter a to z is capital letter it's like a variable but this time is there is a condition you have to use a capital letter okay then it's going to be a set well set a is equal to this set of four five six seven well that's how we read it but this is open braces and you must have closed braces how many members are here how many elements one two three four so four members i clearly see there is a four numbers are here four elements are here so this is a limited okay so we call it finite all right now b as you see there's a capital letter right equal to four five six seven eight dot 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 what does the dot dot mean is ellipsis so means it's going on and on it's not limited it's not finite it is unlimited it is called infinite numbers so this is not a all defined set by the way this one is all defined set if you know how many numbers are there it's called all defined set if you don't know how many numbers are there it's not all defined set let's move into the next example this set of even numbers less than 10 well this is this setup we can actually convert into a set notation i'm going to show you how to do that actually but before i oh uh, yeah let's actually do this now okay let's do this now so i have you know even number we know all all of us know what is even number so i just name this one as e for even is e is equal to e is equal to open braces zero comma two comma three comma oh some of you already objected me right of course i'm gonna actually make sure i'm right i'm writing all of them actually four five six seven eight nine ten there is a reason why i'm doing this okay all right so definitely there is a comma in between okay so remember they said even number even number so well this one is even clearly this one is not even you know this one is not even 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 so i can actually get rid of those okay that's gone those i can get rid of 
I can get rid of those. Okay, get rid of those. Okay, so now there is a couple of things also left over. So this said up here less than 10. Well, is it 10 less than 10? No, that's not right. So we take that 10 out also. Now let's go beginning. Is it zero? Is even or well, some will say yes, zero is even. But what is the definition in order to be set? Remember, we have to make sure that we understand. When you talk about set, you talk about natural number. Any number greater than zero is a natural number. So this zero won't work. Okay, so zero is not working. So what is left over? So we have this one gone, right? This one is gone. We have basically two, four, six, eight. This is how we translate an, a sentence into a set, as you clearly see. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit on the right side. You're going to tell me, is this a set? Is this forming a set? So please take a look here. I'm going to have A is equal to, open parentheses, 4, 5, 6. A is equal to one two three b is equal to three four five dot 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 and c is equal to open parentheses or actually i'm going to do this one actually here Two, three, four. Okay, guys, let's spend a little bit of time here. So, is A is a set? Obviously, when I say no, that's not going to happen. Why is not going to happen? Because you cannot have this one. So, that is not going to happen. This is not the way we write set. This symbol must be there. So, right away, this is invalid. We cannot use this. We cannot use this. This is invalid. Right away, this one is also invalid, as you see. So that is not going to work. This is not a set. Well, some of you say, well, how about C? Last one here. Well, I have open braces. But the problem is this one is not going to make it set. So this one is also not working. So I hope you clearly understand when on how to recognize this is a set or not. As long as they have open braces and closed braces and some elements are there or infinite number of elements are there we could okay very good so i'm going to go back to the on the left side i'm going to go back to the left side here guys so uh if i look into this example here right this set is a i mentioned is all defined set is a you know finite set with no members how many members one two three four members this one is we don't know how many members look one two three four five and so many we don't know this is infinite so this is not all defined this one is all defined okay so let's actually learn more about all defined okay all defined set are set that have finite number of elements i mentioned it earlier okay this set of three countries in the world having the largest population okay so clearly in terms of population right you know china has most people in this planet so as india and then of course united states of america okay so definitely you clearly see this one is all defined why we can just name them largest three okay so this is all defined you see one two three three countries we're looking for three countries right you can name it you could do many ways okay and i can actually come up with an example actually okay uh, even this one is all defined set c let's do this one c is equal to c is equal to four well i can use some word sorry about that apple banana is this all defined set obviously there's a two object here right so uh, we know there's a two member so this is an all defined set okay that's lovely so let's move on to the not all defined set here you go guys 
not all defined sets are set that have infinite number of elements the set of most influential figure here you go so how do you figure out can you actually find out the most influ influential figure in your life or well, some of you say um you know if you like sports like depends on what kind of sports like basketball michael jordan soccer maradona you know uh, Felipe messi uh, cristiano ronaldo you know i mean every sports you have some role model influential figure or if you go politics there is someone influ influential in your life you go to religious perspective yes there are each religion there is an influential figure right so stones of them we really can't come up with something it's like it's like you can name a couple of them you can say a i can just name a couple of them i can say a b c and of course is going on and on so this is not all defined set okay we cannot really you know um, come up with limited numbers so this is not all defined set or i can just create another one c is a set c is equal to the set of four five six dot 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 this ellipsis clearly as you see right so this is basically not all defined set and you can name it actually if it's apple mango banana dot 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 is basically a not all defined set it's going on and on okay so let's talk a little, take a look on finite sets so finite you know by now the definition we discussed it already the number of elements the number of elements okay which is a member in the set is a natural number here you go as a natural number so the set of even numbers between 20 and 30 okay between 20 and 30 remember i can't really say i cannot include 20 and 30 why because it's in between so 22 24 26 28 and you have open braces and closed braces this is called a finite set how many number one two three four number and therefore it is a finite and members can be visible and countable and of course it has to be natural number we cannot start with zero or of course no negative number okay so this is a finite set so what we learned so far is basically we learn what is set okay let's go back we learn finite set not all defined set we learn all defined set and of course set there is another one is left over here infinite set here you go guys this one a set that is not a set that is called let's take a look here a set that is not finite is called infinite in other words it's never end so we call it infinite set the set of odd number greater than five okay the set of odd number greater than five so how do we come up with so greater than five so we don't include five as you clearly see right we don't include five so you go check it out here no we don't include five so we go seven nine eleven and dot 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 and you can go seven nine eleven thirteen and dot 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 it's up to you this is infinite set okay i can make up another one f is equal to the set of a b c d e dot 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 that's it that is infinite set so we clearly understand what is set and you can name it you know anything any related thing right your fruits name fish anything you can come uh, connect yourself so something limited we call it countable of course we call it you know finite set and we call it infinite set something is not limited and all defined and not all defined so that's basically pretty much about set as you clearly see all right okay so thank you very much and I hope you understand what is set. Thank you.